नमस्कार कालिका एफएम पञ्चानब्बे दुईमा अब तपाई सुन्न सक्नुहुन्छ प्रत्यक्ष शिक्षकको साथमा कक्षा दस को पाठ्यक्रममा आधारित एसएलसी लाई लक्षित गरी तयार गरिएको कार्यक्रम रेडियो पाठशाला नमस्कार यो हो कालिका एफएम पञ्चानब्बे दुई निकटमा कालिका विकटमा कालिका मध्य नेपालको सर्वोत्कृष्ट कालिका कार्यक्रम हो रेडियो पाठशाला कार्यक्रम रेडियो पाठशाला हमें एसएलसी परीक्षा दिने परीक्षार्थी केन्द्रित करी यह कार्यक्रम तैम प्रस्तुत करते आई रह रर्ष भी हमें रेडियो पाठशाला तैम प्रस्तुत करते कार्यक्रम रेडियो पाठशाला कालिक एफ एम पंचानब्बे दुई में हर एक आईतवार सोमवार बिहार रात दस बजे को कालि का हाईलाइट्स पीछे तैम प्रस्तुत होने गद आज बा हम यह कार्यक्रम रेडियो पाठशाला को फेर भी हम सुरुआत करते आज अंग्रेजी विषय को अध्यापन करा आर्किड उच्च मवि भरतपुर का सह प्राचार्य ओमराज मैनाली Good evening, students. How are you? Fine. Good. How's your preparation for your upcoming essence examination? Good. So, students, today we are going to deal with question number one. That is syntax, and in which poem is asked? You know it. Well, let me put a poem that was asked in the essence examination 2069. I mean, last year. Okay, here's the poem for you, and the title is "Where the Rainbow Ends." Well, let me recite it first. Where the rainbow ends? Where the rainbow ends? There's going to be a place, brother, where the world can sing all sorts of songs, and we are going to sing together, brother. You and I, though you are white and I am not, it's going to be a sad song, brother. Because we don't know the tune, and it's a difficult tune to learn. But we can learn, brother, you and I. There's no such tune as a black tune. There's no such tune as a white tune. There's only music, brother, and it's music we are going to sing, with the rainbow ends, by Richard Rhyme. Well, students, before we attempt the activities that are asked here. Let me put the paraphrase of the poem. What did you get from the poem? Let me put the paraphrase. You know it. The poem has been written by a black American poet, Richard Rhyme. In the poem, the poet appeals to the white people for friendship, the feeling of brotherhood, and racial harmony. He urges them, I mean white people, to leave the feeling of racial discrimination racial prejudices discrimination on the basis of color he wishes the world to be the place where the people of all races live and work together in harmony just uh, as at uh, the place where the different colors of rainbow ends together a rainbow here signifies different colors in a band Similarly, the place where the rainbow ends means what do you guess about it? What is the meaning? Where the rainbow ends means? Let's get it. It means the place where the people of different races and colors they can live and work together. The poet is black and he is making an appeal to the whites to live and work together. to go ahead he thinks that when they talk about tune it's difficult to live together because the tune is the specific pattern of music like the specific race among the human being so here the poet wants to say that although they are of different races or colors it is possible to be friends although it's difficult However, it's not an easy process because people are different and have racial discrimination, racial prejudices. There's discrimination on the basis of skin color. Though it is difficult to end racial prejudice, it is possible if they try hard. The poet also appeals them, I mean white people, to talk about. 
the music just as a human being because it is very common subject the poet also saw them the poet saw this all the white people not to demarcate themselves as white people and black people but he urges them he appeals them to call themselves as human being only not white people not black people what is then just human being only because this feeling will make the world like the place where the rainbow ends it won't be just like a, a place of this you know human world so dear students that's all about the poem the paraphrase of the poem you got it well now let's go through some activities that are asked here okay now exercise a first exercise write true or false against the following statements and you know it it carries 0.5 mark for each correct answer the first statement the first sentence is the poet wants all the people to live together in peace what do you think can you answer it what is it this statement is true or false okay arun you please stand up yes what is it true good this statement is true it is already stated in the third and fourth line similarly what is stated in the third and fourth line it has been clearly mentioned in the third and fourth line that where the world can sing all sorts of songs and we are going to sing together brother so what what does it mean the poet wants all the people to live together in peace to live together in harmony okay now let's go to the second statement second sentence the poet doesn't like the second sentence the second statement is the poet doesn't like the white people this statement is true or false it is false in the poem he has not mentioned anywhere he has not stated anywhere that he has hatred to towards you know to the white people he has not mentioned anywhere he has made an appeal to the white people to come together to live together to work together to live in harmony okay because the poet has clearly addressed the white people as brother in the line you can just see here okay similarly the last i mean sorry the third statement uh, which is given in uh, statement c third statement third sentence the speaker in the poem is black how can you say that he is black it is true because the poet has stated in the fifth line what has he stated it has been stated that he has clearly mentioned here you and i though you are white and i am not this signifies that this means that the poet is black well that's all about exercise a okay dear students how are you feeling good okay now let's move to exercise b then in which you are asked some questions answer the following questions exercise number b and each correct answer is awarded one mark you know it let's see the first question exercise b the first question is what does the rainbow refer to in the poem it means what does the rainbow mean okay binod can you answer it sorry good so here in the poem a rainbow means different colors or different races among people similarly let's go to second question the second question says that what is the poem about do you have any idea okay who will answer it you okay then answer it 
right so the poem is an appeal for racial harmony or you can simply answer this way it is an appeal to end racial discrimination that is what the poem is about now let me put you the final question and the final question says why does the poet say that to learn to sing together is difficult yes it is because yet they do not have mutual understanding or you can say that yet they are not far away from racial prejudices racial discrimination it is uh, difficult to sing together okay so dear students we have next poem here for the sales examination 2069 a supplementary paper again let's enjoy the next poem that was asked in question number one as syntax and you know it carries five marks okay dear here goes the poem entitled knowledge by eleanor farzan knowledge your mind is a meadow to plant for needs you are the farmer with knowledge of seeds don't leave your meadow unplanted and bare sow it with knowledge and tend it with care would be a no nothing when he might grow the seeds of knowledge of stars and snow the signs of numbers the stories of time the magic of music the secrets of rhyme don't be a no nothing plant in the spring and see what what harvest the summer will bring by eleanor farzan now let's paraphrase the poem and get the concept in this poem the poet eleanor farzan has made an analogy or we call it comparison and she has compared the learners with the farmers for example she has compared learners mind with farmers meadow or farmers field because the students or the learners can plant the seeds of knowledge in their mind just as the farmer plants seeds of crops in the meadow similarly students knowledge or let's say learners knowledge has been compared with seeds and crops the poet also says us not to leave our mind idle and not to be a know nothing i mean not to be an ignorant person she suggests us to read and study the books of different subjects for knowledge and practice the exercises with great care just as the farmer can yield more crops only by tending it with great effort the poet has mentioned some subjects of knowledge in the poem such as you can see in the question paper stars and snow what does it mean here in the poem stars and snow means signs or you can call it nature also similarly the signs of numbers what does it refer to it means mathematics the stories of time indicates history the magic of music means music itself and the secret of rhyme means poetry or you call it literature the poet has finally suggested us to read and study at the young age which is proper time so that we can take benefit from the knowledge when you grow adult just like a farmer harvests his crops in harvesting time if he works hard in the planting time well that's all about the poem and now it's time to go through some exercises which are asked here okay in the first exercise you have to state true or false keeping the relevance of the poem and for each correct answer you will get 0.5 mark right okay here go the statements the first statement you have to say whether this statement is true or false the meadow is compared with a farmer is it true or false okay you asmita now you are turn to answer good it is false why because the meadow 
Or let's say the field is compared with a learner's mind, but not with a farmer. And second statement, second question. The phrase stories of time means history. What do you think this statement is? It is true. Why? Because we deal with stories of the past in history, in the subject history. Now the third statement, third sentence. The poet is advising the readers to be ignorant. Is it true or false? The poet has advised the readers to be ignorant. Is it so? No, it is false. Because she has suggested us to be educated and wise. She has advised us not to be uneducated, not to be ignorant. So this statement is false. And the last statement, the last sentence, question number D, the poem is written by a Nepali poet. Is it true or false? It is false because the poet Eleanor Farzan is an English citizen. She is an English poet. Okay, now it's time to enjoy the questions and you have to answer them, right? Well, you will get one mark for each correct answer. Exercise B, answer the following questions. So the first question is, what is our mind compared with in the poem? Here in the poem, our mind is compared with middle. How? Can you tell me? Yes, because like a farmer, we can show the seeds of knowledge in our mind. A farmer shows the seeds of different crops in his field or meadow. We as learners can read or study different subjects of our need and interest. Second question, what does the poet mean by the phrase plant in the spring? The phrase plant in the spring means to study at the young age. Our proper time. And the last question, how are the farmers and readers similar? Your readers means students or learners. How are they similar? The farmers and the students are similar because farmers can yield any crops of their need and interest if they grow in the spring, I mean at the right time. In the same way, readers also or let's say learners also can be benefited with their knowledge if they start learning of their need and interest at the young age, at the right time. That is learning period. Well, dear students, now complete other exercises at home, okay? And that's all for the day. Now it's time to say goodbye. See you. Bye. आजको कार्यक्रम रेडियो पाठशालामा अंग्रेजी विषयको अध्यापन गराउँदै हुनुहुन्थ्यो अर्किड उच्च माविक भरतपुरका सह प्राचार्य ओमराज मैनाली कार्यक्रम रेडियो पाठशाला आजलाई यही सकिन्छ हामी सबै बिदा हुन्छौ हवस्त नमस्कार शुभ रात्री